art is a big part of Haitian culture and it also represents a new economy for the Caribbean's creative industries. I took a trip to the art village of Nuai in Quadabouke to find out more about their steel art. I'm here with my Haitian brethren, Emmanuel, Philippe, Joseph. Thank yes. you so much for taking time out for us, Emmanuel. Oh, I'm, I appreciate this a lot. Okay, uh, matter of fact, I, I really love um, what is going on right now. Uh, uh, Islanders is here mm -hmm. uh, in Haiti, mm -hmm. uh, talking about uh, visiting Haiti to see the artwork that we have here in Haiti and uh, want to make a connection, you know, with Haiti, make a connection with Haiti and the Caribbean, like to unify, unify the Caribbean. You said it perfectly, we are here to connect and we're here to show the rest of the Caribbean and the world that Haiti has so much to offer and there's so much going on within the country that we need to be aware of because we can all learn from it. We're in the village, the art village of Newell. Tell us about this area. Well, uh, the village of Newell is uh, a village of artists and artisans that uh, live in one community. And they have developed, you know, the art of uh, carving uh, metal, metal works. Mm -hmm. And uh, this began in uh, 1953 with uh, George Yoto, which w introduced a metal work uh, into, in, in the Haitian line of um, uh, art products, okay? Art and artisanal products. And uh, it took, oh, shared, and like a lot of artists learned to do this work. And right now in this area, we have um, at least um, 80 shops that are producing different types of metal work and over 200 artists and artisans that are working. Over 200? Over 200 I mean, artists and artisans that are working. a brief glimpse of some of the artists ponging away at that metal, that scrap metal that they're turning into beautiful works of art. I mean, steel art to me seems to be one of the most profound uh, styles or forms of art coming out of Haiti. Can you tell us a little bit about the process from, you know, from the scrap metal beginning mm -hmm. to the beautiful endings that we see in some of these shops annual? Of course. Um, in the beginning is uh, drum, like used up drums or used up metal that is taken and then uh, the design, they draw out whatever they're going to cut out mm -hmm. and uh, they pound with uh, uh, a chisel, mm -hmm. the chisel and, uh, and, and a hammer and they carve out, you know, uh, the image mm -hmm. that they want to present or the artistic creativity that they want to present, the emotion that they want to present mm -hmm. and um, uh, they carve it out, okay, uh, the sandpaper, you know, to cut out the rough sides and uh, the lacquer. Okay, and in some cases they add paint, okay, and um, that's the process. It's a very particular, meticulous style of art. Where do these artisans learn? Where do they train to really attain these high levels of artistic skill? Um, these levels of artistic skills come from inside. There is no school, there is no university, there is uh, there's not an educational system that teaches them how to do this. And it's like the population in Haiti, you know, um, most of the artists and the artisans that are in Haiti work from heart, work from uh, a sharing, from soul, from from, yeah, yes, yeah. and or working with another artist and all of a sudden they start developing their own thing, you see, and um, so I cannot say that this is all man, this is all self-made. This is not from any institution. No, nobody learned this in school or at any university or, or anything like that. So what do you think would happen if there was that real investment into these art villages and these natural artisans that really are working from soul and from spirit? What do you think it, it, it would mean if we were to create official schools and, and official places where they could learn and perform and practice and sell and buy and trade their art? We would develop a dynamic market 
And oh, we're not producing cars. We're not producing telephones. We are producing art. Okay, and we want to sell art, art because from the heart too. From, because it comes from the heart. This is this is expressions. This this is expressions that are that uh, in in nature. I mean, it, it's if you look at some of the art, uh, where did this come from? You know, and you, you look at the world of vegetation. You're looking at the world in the sea. You're looking at the deepest parts of the sea that we don't see every day and that uh, most people don't uh, have any idea of what that is, okay? And, and we are expressing these things through art. You know, we're expressing these emotions, this knowledge, this, uh, the, these secrets. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, these are secrets, you know? Secrets of the mm -hmm. air, secrets of the land, secrets of the sea, you know, uh, 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 secrets of the world of, the, the world of vegetation, the world of, of fire, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that, that's what it is. And I think that uh, uh, the industry that can be developed from this, could be a tremendous industry that can help a whole lots of people live better, you know, uh, uh, rise the standards of living of a whole lots of people, not just in Haiti, not just in the Caribbean, but I think in the world. Oh. I think everybody can benefit from this. Beautifully said. Tell me the name of your association again. It is the... It's ADAC, ADAC uh, Association for the Development of Art and Artisanal in Kwade Bouquet. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Thank you very Ayanai much. Rastafari. Thank you. <laughs> Up next on IX. It's going to be very, very nice for us. And we believe in the Caribbean because I think the Caribbean have something different to show. <laughs>